Hi everyone, today we are covering exactly what cloud computing is, how it relates to AWS and a few examples along the way. So let's get straight into it. What exactly is cloud computing? Great question. The cloud is basically just the internet. When you upload things to this magical cloud, it's just the internet. Nothing big and scary about it. So when we talk about cloud computing, we're talking about accessing computing power over the internet. Now this is pretty crazy because before cloud computing came along, if I wanted to run things faster or run more applications or have access to more storage, I would physically have to go to a store and buy another computer or buy some more storage or buy a hard drive. Whatever it is that you wanted, you'd have to go and physically set it up. Now that's okay for you individually, but if you're a company or a tech company that needs a lot of gear, a lot of storage, a lot of compute power, this is where people would have to set up their own servers. So they would have entire rooms in the office buildings that were just set up with computers, servers, so that they could access them and get all of this additional computing power right on site. Now, when cloud computing came in, they said, hold on a second, we can actually offer all of those services just through the internet. You don't need to go and buy anything or set anything up. You can just access it online, which was huge and revolutionary and very, very, very cool. But what about AWS? Where does AWS come into the picture? So AWS is the leading cloud provider. So that means that out of all of the different applications and services that are out there, we've got Google Cloud, we've got Azure, we've got AWS, we've got, those are the three main ones, to be honest. <laughs> out of those three, AWS is the, the leading one. It's the top, it's the most popular. It's got the largest market share. They own over 30% of the market and have over 200 different services that are available. So it's not just storage, it's not just computing power, it's 200 different things that you can access through AWS that is, sits in the range of cloud computing. These are things like cloud storage, databases, networking, developer tools, security, analytic, machine learning, app integration, database management, governance, and integration. Netflix is a great example of a company that uses AWS to store and stream all of their videos. So all of their movies, all of their TV shows, it's actually all being powered by AWS. They're using mainly storage and content delivery, and they don't need to own or maintain any physical servers to actually produce all of their applications. Google Docs is another very well-known tool that uses AWS in order to allow people to collaborate in real time on the same doc. If you've ever wondered how it is that you and your friend can both write in a Google Doc at the same time or see what each other are writing, then now you know that behind that is AWS. That's what's actually allowing them to do this. They're using one of AWS's services or to edit the doc at the same time. AWS has heaps of different services, but some of the most popular ones, which we're going to be covering today, is the AWS S3, which stands for simple storage service and a simple storage service is just like a great big kind of warehouse where you can store all of your data the next is ec2 which stands for elastic compute cloud and ec2 is all about having access to pretty much another computer it's where many websites and applications get hosted which just means that you can access them online but the real game changer was that you could scale up or scale down your computing power depending on when or how you needed it. This saves companies heaps of money because they're only paying for what they use. So that's it. That's our intro to cloud computing and how it relates to AWS. Let's get started on some of the other deeper topics.